Greetings, beautiful people. Welcome to Nanaba's Kitchen. Today I'm bringing you the cassava leaves to what I promised way back. And you guys have patiently waited till this day. So let me thank you in advance for your patience. So I have some goat meat and oxtail, which I have seasoned generously with some salt. Added my ginger paste as well as my green herb and spice blend. One chopped onion and a couple of chopped scotch bonnet chilies for some heat. Now this parcel contains ogre, which is fermented sesame seeds that are roasted. So they will be bringing to the pot that much needed precious umami taste. It will also impart a nutty and glutamate flavor into this pot and deepen the meatiness of it all. Oh, it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Now I've placed the pot on medium fire with a lid on so the meat gets a chance to release its juices in which it's going to cook. Now here is the cassava leaves. It's been crushed and strained of its juices. Another must have ingredient is this roasted peanut butter. It enriches all the flavors. And of course I have an optional cowhide just for the texture. I love it in there. Now here is some oil I skimmed off of my peanut butter soup so it is seasoned well and spiced as well so it's going to really kick up the flavors in this too so i'll be adding that now i have some kobe which is salted tilapia for more umami flavors and also have some smoked fish this is smoked barracuda so after five minutes we check on the pot everything is looking like it's melting together perfectly so we'll give it a stare and you can see that some juices have already been released so that is perfect place a lid back and keep cooking for the next 10 to 15 minutes in order that our oxtail and the goat meat tenderize more. Now the cowhide I just added and it's been parboiled so it doesn't need to cook much. Now I'm going to add some water to this because the meats in here could use those juices to tenderize further. Now stir to make sure that you're deglazing and combining everything thoroughly. Done. Now we're going to add our roasted peanut butter. Like I said before, this will enrich the flavors here. It is must have ingredients, so make sure you have that and it has to be roasted. You will love it in here. The way I'm making this is how I was taught to cook this dish by my Sierra Leonean friends. All right, so now I'm also adding the smoked fish. You want to stir that in. Now the cassava leaves are available at your local Ghanaian or African grocery store. I have just added it and it comes in a frozen package. Okay, so they already crush it for you and strain the juices out and then they package it and keep it frozen. I have added some water because the cassava leaves take a while to cook and you want to cook them thoroughly and they will need the water to cook thoroughly. Also, the meat will continue to tenderize and all the flavors will mesh perfectly all right so stare that in and keep the lid on now and turn the heat down to the lowest setting and just patiently let it do its thing it's been 15 minutes after adding the cassava leaves we go back and stir it now when this is completely cooked it's going to be creamy the cassava leaves which are a bit tough will tenderize and it will just melt in your mouth and you would love this now i'm adding the oil that i skimmed from my peanut butter soup so that those flavors can also now get incorporated and become one with the rest of the flavors in the pot so you want to stir that in we're not done cooking at all we are about halfway so throw the lid back on still cooking on the lowest heat setting for the next 25 minutes and we are almost done now. You see the color of the cassava leaves has now become a dull green, almost brownish. So we're almost nearing the end of the cooking. I have added some more heats by way of adding these um, habanero chilies and I've also drizzled in an optional palm nut oil. I really love the taste of the palm nut oil in here. I have had cassava leaves too without the palm nut oil and I've also had it with it and I love it with it. So there you have it done and it pairs well 
with rice steamed white rice basmati or jasmine it is perfection y'all i hope you are able to try this recipe and i certainly hope you had fun today and learn a thing or two i hope to see you pretty soon on my next one it is shop time thank you for watching make it a great day and have fun especially in that kitchen Thank you, beautiful person, for watching the video all the way to the end. Kindly leave me a comment and subscribe down below. And don't forget to share the video as well. Also, watch more videos. It is chop time. And here in Anabas Kitchen, chop time is always yes, friends. So pull up a chair. We are all friends and family here.